Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And uh, got some articles coming out that uh, I, I found. And, and oddly enough, I'd just gotten a message uh, before I go into this from TASS where Hamas receives a proposal to release 33 hostages in exchange for a ceasefire. Uh, I'd gotten some information from Israel uh, late yesterday evening that uh, the Israeli military was getting ready to go into Rafah as of last night. Uh, this here is a video that was shared with me as well, showing that the troops are there, the tanks are there, the armored vehicles, uh, personnel carriers are there going into Rafah, and uh, it holds more than a million people there, and Israeli troops are ready to actually go in and to do what they do best, annihilate anybody in the way. Unfortunately, uh, that's very sad to say that. I do appreciate the, the eyes on Rafa with a sad face right there because truly it would be a very sad day, in fact, if that happens. So I want to let you guys know I will be watching this very closely as it gets later in the day because uh, normally about, ooh, probably about 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock our time, uh, or if not sooner, we will know if Israel has gone into Rafa. Uh, with that being stated, TASS, Russian news agency, had put out that Hamas received the proposal from Egypt that if they would release, release anywhere from 20 to 33 hostages, that Israel would do a, uh, a pause in the hostilities. But it's not going to be an end of the war, but at least a pause. So it seems to be that undoubtedly, because we did not see any information of an attack going on inside of Rafah as of yet, there were some bombs being dropped. Uh, in southern uh, Gaza, we I did I did actually I had the video up earlier, but I can't really retrieve that at this point there uh, from where some Israelis uh, from a settlement nearby who were sitting there, uh, young women at that, sitting there with their uh, uh, M16s, uh, you know, kind of laughing about the fact that there were bombs being dropped in southern Gaza. But uh, anyway, so the thing is, it looks like that they may be trying to reach that kind of deal to get more hostages out of there. Uh, also, this post here, Israel to launch Rafa invasion if no deal reached uh, on captives in 72 hours, according to the report there. That was on that, that came out uh, earlier this morning. Uh, at least that's when that report was made. But, of course, they're given a 72-hour window, so we'll see what actually happens. But we'll be try to keep, keep you guys up to date as we get these developing uh, news on this situation there. So uh, that was Charles Hodge that sent me that report there. Let's see, he may have sent me some more things. State leader uh, police confirms officers with sniper capabilities were on the rooftop of the IU protest. Wow, that's not good, is it? Uh, <clears throat> well, let's look at that real quick. Yeah, the state leader police, this is from Newsbreak, uh, reporting this. Thank you, Charles, for sharing that with us there. They were on the rooftops of the IU protest, and uh, the leader of the Indiana State Police confirmed Monday that the state troopers with sniper capabilities had been positioned on rooftops near pro-Palestinian demonstrations at the University, Indiana University. Uh, the ISP superintendent, Doug Carter, said during an appearance on the conservative talk radio show that officers had taken up over watch positions near Dunn Meadow, where police have used riot shields and zip ties to detain more than 50 protesters since Thursday. Uh, the images, what appeared to be a sniper on the roof of Indiana Memorial Union, went viral on social media, prompting outrage from the demonstrators and their supporters. The sniper's presence has been cited in criticism of the Indiana University administrators from Bloomington area state lawmakers and its petition from the Indiana University faculty members calling for the resignation of the IU president, Pamela Witten. The petition attracted more than 700,000 signatures as of Monday. And there you can see the image there. They're showing that on there. I mean, what's it come to in this nation? Uh, this has really become absurd. Uh, and all sparked by Netanyahu and his uh, demand of U.S. politicians to take actions uh, for the freedom of speech that's going on across uh, campuses around the, the, the nation right now. Uh, and granted, there are some in there that, that chant things that are anti-Semitic. You know, look, for one, it's still freedom of speech. If they're getting out of line, then there's a, there's a reason to deal with that situation at that point there. But those that are peacefully protesting, what are you going to do? You're going to just silence everybody? I guess APAC does control 
U.S. politics. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live.